we 3D print foods, all edibles. Uh, our latest version of a 3D food printer prints pizza, most famously, but also prints uh, cinnamon rolls, scones, cupcakes, cakes, and muffins. Our technology would, was born from a NASA grant uh, originally. Uh, an engine contractor, uh, founder of BHEX, uh, built the first 3D food printer for NASA. Uh, NASA had been experimenting with uh, different types of foods and ways to feed people for deep space missions over the last one to five years. For example, uh, one that would head to, to Mars uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, they pivoted towards 3D printing foods mostly because the, the astronauts found uh, food pills and food bars to be boring. They wanted to be able to print a variety of interesting, uh, colorful, but also nutritious foods. And the scientists that controlled the astronauts' diets want to ha wanted to have some input into what they would be eating. So from that, the 3D food printer was born. There are a number of players in the 3D printing space. Uh, in particular, uh, BHEX uh, uses a patent pending uh, a pneumatic extruder system. So think of a, a think of a piston, uh, where you can push and pull and tightly control the deposit of whatever it is that you want to 3D print. Uh, all of the other players in this space tend to use what you might call a syringe. So there tend to be dri issues with dripping and leakage. Uh, and if you see the visual uh, output right from our 3D printers, particularly with food applications, you see that difference in what we're able to print, the complexity, uh, the height, the dimensions, and the speed of the printing. Plug and play has given us a, a great opportunity. Uh, it, certainly a sentiment shared with, with any other company here that's, that's pitching today. Uh, it's a rare and unusual opportunity to have so many people uh, interested in one particular sub-industry all at one place and at one time.